Hi all the students. Today we are going to study yet another design issue of the data link layer which is flow control. So another function of the data link layer or the DLL which is your flow control. Now what does what to do basically in a situation wherein a sender wants to transmit frames at a rate which are faster than the receiver can accept them. Just to make you understand, uh, we take a hypothetical situation wherein I, I say that the sender is capable of sending 10 frames per unit of time but the receiver is not capable of receiving 10 units per unit of time rather the receiver is a bit slow and can receive only 5 un uh, frames per unit of time so what to do in that situation so this is what basically we are talking about that what to do with the sender that wants to transmit frames faster than the receiver can accept them that means the processing capability of the receiver is slower than that of the sender so what to do in such cases this situation can occur basically when the sender is running on a fast machine the first scenario is that sender is having a high speed processor processor that means the sender is running on a fast machine or it is lightly loaded that means the load is very less hence the cpu can perform very faster right and the receiver is running on a slow machine the processor itself of the receiver is slow or the processor is fine but it is heavily loaded so lots of work lots of processing hence the processor is slow as compared to that of the receiver sender so what to do in such cases what happens usually is that the sender will keep on putting or pumping the frames out at a high rate because the processing speed of the sending machine is higher so obviously it will utilize that and will keep sending the frames at that particular higher speed right until the receiver is completely swamped but the receiver is slow either because of the fact that the machine on the receiver's end is slow or it is heavily loaded so in either of the cases receiver becomes slow and when the receiver becomes slow that means the rate at which it can receive and process the incoming fr frames is s slower or lesser than as compared to the rate at which the sender is sending those frames so what will happen in such case in such case you will lose the frames because the receiver is not able to uh, receive, uh, process them as fast as you are sending them so it will lose out some frames in such the case such case so even if the transmission is error free at a certain point the receiver will simply be unable to handle the frames as they arrive and will start to lose some obviously just take an example if i am uh, the rate or the speed at which I am teaching you if you are able to understand at that speed then you will be able to understand each and everything that I am speaking but if I am too fast and you are not able to receive or understand or process the information that I am giving at that uh, speed then you will miss out on most some of the information which I am giving you right you will be able to listen or understand some facts whereas you will not be able to understand some of the facts so such is the case with the slow receiver also that even if the transmission is error free so there is no error in the transmitted data but the receiver is slow and and the sender is fast hence the receiver is not able to process the frames at the rate at which it is receiving them hence it will lose out on some of the frames so something definitely needs to be done in this case you need to do something right so what is that something that we need to do so there are two approaches basically one is the feedback based flow control now any of these approaches basically cater to the requirement of flow control that means you are controlling the flow of the sender and you are basically uh, reaching at a uh, at a uh, mutual rate of flow between the sender and the receiver so that the sender sends the frames at a rate which are acceptable by the receiver so you reach out on some mutual kind of data transmission rate so this is known as flow control controlling the flow of the frames now you can uh, depending upon what approach you give them you either call it feedback based flow control or you call it rate based flow control 
Now, the first approach that we'll study, the feedback-based flow control, it says that the receiver sends back information to the sender, giving it permission to send more data, or at least telling the sender how the receiver is doing. That is, in the feedback-based flow control, receiver will give a feedback. It will tell the sender whether the sender should give, uh, keep sending uh, more frames or should it wait for some time. And the second is the rate-based flow control. In the rate-based flow control method, this is a protocol which has a built-in mechanism that limits the rate at which senders may transmit data without using feedback from the receiver. That means you're limiting the rate. Okay, this is the uh, this will be the consistent rate of data transmission and no, nothing beyond that. So that the receiver is able to process the data properly so no feedback method is used over here it's just that you set settle on a particular data rate right so uh, like you can imagine that the first feedback based flow control is that i will continue to the next topic based upon your feedback if you told me that you have been able to understand the previous topic only then will i proceed further or else i will stop there and make you explain the first topic better first and then proceed to the next topic this is something kind of a feedback based flow control and rate based, uh, based flow control is uh, like we agree upon a particular uh, number of topics in a day i say okay no more than two topics in a day whether you understand properly even then we are not going to exceed two topics per day so we have agreed upon a particular rate of transmission that two topics in a day that is it so here i don't need your feedback because i know minimum two topics are there so you'll be able to understand them so this is something kind of a rate based flow control where in advance you determine the rate of the data transmission and no feedback in such cases required however the rate based schemes are not used in the data link layer see data link layer is not the only layer which is responsible for flow control there are other layers which we will discuss in future in the upcoming videos but as of now you must know that there are two methods of flow control that exist that is the feedback based flow control and the rate based flow control and as far as the data link layer is concerned it does not use the rate based scheme so then what does it use of course it uses the feedback based flow control so the mechanism that is used for flow control or the protocol that is used for flow control in the data link layer is the feedback based flow control wherein this receiver sends a feedback to the sender telling it or giving it permission to send more data or stop for some time depending upon the feedback of the uh, receiver so now most of the feedback based flow control schemes use the same basic principle the, uh, they may vary to a uh, little bit but the principle behind all the feedback based flow control is same that is they all use the same basic principle so they have well defined rules about when a sender may transmit the next frame so there are well defined rules which are which are laid out and then depending upon the uh, feedback of the receiver the sender transmits the next frame these rules often prohibit frames from being sent until the receiver has granted permission because since it involves a feedback from the receiver so without receiving any feedback or permission the sender does not proceed further so basically it prohibits the frames from being sent until the receiver has granted the permission to the sender to send more frames for example, a uh, basic example we will take uh, like when a connection is set up. Now, this is a hypothetical situation just to make you understand. When a connection is set up between the sender and the receiver, the receiver might say, you may send me N frames now. N could be any number. It could be 10 frames, 15 frames, 20 frames. So, the receiver says, you can send me N frames right now. But after these N number of frames have been sent, you do not send any more until I have told you to continue, right? So they fix upon a total number of initial frames that can be sent. Say for example, if it is 15, so in that case, the sender sends 15 frames and now the sender, know, uh, sender knows that these are the, those n numbers of frames which we had agreed upon initially and after sending these 15 frames i have to wait for the feedback from the receiver and when i get a positive feedback or when i get a permission from the receiver then i can proceed 
sending new further new more frames to the receiver so this is how it works this is the basic principle behind any of the feed based flow control schemes which is used by the data link layer so this is all about flow control